Hi, good evening everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a four box break of 2018 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. Four box, random first name, first letter, break number five. And it comes from a fresh master case. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. There are your first name, first letters. Let's randomize each list. One and a five, six times. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. All right, after six times, we've got Philip down to Jerry. All right, once again, six times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. L, F. Down to P and O. All right, Phil with L and F. Peter with J. Joe with T N. Mark S B or B S. Vipple H Y. Mark W V and D. You got the D. Mark Todd with C and G. John with A and Z. Peter with K and E. Regimental with M. Joe with R. Jerry with P plus O. Hopefully, hopefully Jerry won't be PO'd after the break. So we better pull him some hits. All right, trades are allowed. Now, while you're thinking of trading, let me pop open this master case here. Let's pull the camera back. Yeah, there's more letters here. You guys didn't realize that, huh? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six for the inner cases. It'll be one. So we'll do this right here, and this will be Goodwin Champions for next time, NT. It's knocking things over here. All right, now each inner case... As you know by now, each inner case has eight boxes. So now we'll pop this open and see which four boxes we're going to do. Todd's asking, man, who the heck could be C and G? No one good. Well, you, yeah, you can get like the cane and dog. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. The checklist is so huge and random that you probably won't. There will probably be a lot of surprises here. I mean, really, all you just need to do is get the get a hit. Come on, last box. Man. It's just pack, packed full of hits. All right, we've got four boxes on the right side, four boxes on the left side, four boxes. I know my rights and lefts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to be five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that side right there. We'll save this for tomorrow. And no one's trading, right? Remember, that's what we can expect out of here. Maybe that guy. Maybe some of these those terrifying robots. Uh, robots make me a little uncomfortable. Coming up after this will be um, a box of Valiant Football by Leaf. And then after that, we have time to squeeze in one more kind of quick one-box break. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think maybe Ultimate Collection has a good chance of getting knocked out. Oh, it's probably going to be Ultimate Collection. There's only one spot left on that one. And then everything else we will, we will work on tomorrow. All right, good luck, everyone. There it is, Wednesday, the official list, break number five.
Good luck, everyone. Oh, you know what? Let me drop a checklist in the chat for those of you watching live because I'll be consulting that as well. So you can see what all the different uh, the odds are on all the short printed cards. You can see what the short printed cards are. You can see what you can possibly get with your letters. require a little more care than usual. Love this Goodwin Champions, ladies and gentlemen. Love what's inside these packs. Don't love the packs, the material itself, but I love what's inside the packs. That's And that's what matters. A lot of random stuff here, but that's what makes it cool. A lot of quirky quirky things that we can we can find. Tennis players, golfers, surfers, boxers, MMA folks, musicians, legends, Michael Jordans, future legends, Ben Simmonses, current legends, LeBron James, Tiger Woods is in here. We got also a legend. Does Tiger Woods win another major? We were talking about this earlier. Maybe... Maybe some new people watching that may have some response. I think Todd was saying, hey, it's possible. He has been looking good. His back looks like it's in shape. Every tournament he, he seems to kind of go into seems to be looking better and better. There's always like one day or a couple holes that will always screw him over. But it seems like hitting the fairways a lot, doing all that sort of stuff. All right, let's do this. Why are you? Why am I? I feel like I'm always disappointing you, Joe P. What's what? What is going on now? I'm always disappointing Joe P. No, we don't do anything right for Joe. All right, here is. A Bedlington Terrier. That goes to B, Mark Glassman. Uh oh. I, I think I'm in trouble with Joe P. That's a tier one. One out of every 83 packs. A little more common, but it's still fun to get these. Uh oh. So Joe, what happened? Did 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 like you got a letter in one break? And then the next break, that letter hit. I feel like that's probably what I did. Was it the very next one? Nice. There's Kyle Troop who bowls with two hands. Yeah, but, oh, well, there was like a few breaks in between. That was a completely different case, wasn't it? Oh, you were in the first break. The Gronk was like in the very last break. No, that, that doesn't count. Completely different case, too. If it was the same case, I think you would have grounds to be disappointed. If it was the very next break, I think you would have grounds to be disappointed in me or mad at me <laughs> for picking the wrong boxes. No, we had two. Ten boxes, five boxes per case. So that was the last. That was in the last break, I think. Right, last break of the second case, break five. You were in break one. No, I know. I that sucks though. I hate it when that happens. And you're like, ah, oh, if that was a different case, or if that was just two breaks ago. That's always the worst.
Rex thinks there's something going on between me and Joe P. I don't pull stuff for Joe P. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Joe P. tries to join a few breaks every once in a while. Nothing happens. He gets bummed out. That's what's going on. And the fact that bo both the uh, that both the both the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks are behind the Colorado Rockies. That doesn't make us feel good either. All right. I, th I think Hiller actually does get ang like proper angry. At, at at least at least in twenty within twenty four hours, Joe P's like it's cool. He comes back. He hangs out. Hiller just like, I was just like don't hit anything for him. He's gone for like a fiscal quarter. Can't make everyone happy, ladies and gentlemen. If if I'm not making. Here's here's how I see it though. Here's how I sleep at night. If I'm not if I'm not making Joe P happy, at least I'm making someone else happy. <laughs> the Jaspie motto is we only pull big hits for you if you continuously get into breaks. Well, you improve your odds. It's like me playing it's like me doing one scratcher at the liquor store at 7 Eleven, buying one scratcher and be like, nope. Never hitting in, never, I never hitting scratchers, never buying another scratcher again. I wish I could just buy a scratcher just once, get a thousand dollars and be like, I never have to do scratchers again. It doesn't work that way, I'm afraid. Play one hand of blackjack, don't hit, I bust. Ah. Only the guys that play blackjack for for hours seem to make any money. I go here, play a couple hands. Slot machines. Man, how come that old lady who's been playing slots for like eight hours? She's making she's she gets the big hits. I, I I played the slot machine once or twice. Didn't get anything. Man, slots suck. It's a similar concept. A shared history. I'll oh, have to learn robot history when Skynet takes over. Uh, there's no real name here, so we're just going with A. That'll be for John Goss. Those 3D cards. Those lenticulars are pretty interesting. I'd like to make a set of that. Oh, it's tough, man. I think pe people, Joe P and everybody, people spend spend a lot, they get nothing. People get people spend a little, they get nothing. You know, I mean, people spend a little, they get a lot. I mean, it's all random. It is. I think everyone gets that. De definitely, the thrill of the chase is. There's gambling involved. There's Ryan Blaney. I don't. Th I think everyone understands that. Whoa! National parks. This is our first national parks. Ah, the tunnel log in Sequoia. I remember the tunnel log. Have you anyone been to the tunnel log? Sequoia is beautiful. Right in California. Good place to go. I don't even know if that exists anymore. Does that still exist? 64 out of 90? That's pretty cool. That goes to S for Sequoia, and that's out of 90. Nice. That is strong. 64 out of 90.
Yeah, I don't I don't need your tips, Joe P. <laughs> Ryan Harrison. Oh, the tip is lose the hat. Why why should I lose this beautiful, beautiful hat? This and the this and the Yankees logo is the most the, the most iconic sports logo in in the world, Joe P. You go to you go to Europe, Africa, China, Australia, everyone knows what this means. You take a Diamondbacks hat out there, they're just like, what are you a fan of? You're fan of, are you in a snake club or something like that? What what happened here? Oh, okay, I thought I lost I lost the camera for a second. Face it, Joe, that's one argument that you just cannot one baseball argument that you just can't win. There's Yankees Red Sox, Giants, Cubs, they, those teams will always have far more history than an expansion team. Just it'll just be the way it goes. Oh, don't listen to Big Boys 007. He's he's a Giants fan, Joe P. He's our common enemy. <laughs> All right, two boxes to go. Diamondbacks have money too, just because they choose not to spend it or they spend it on Zach Ranke. That's not my problem. Poor money management is not my problem. And ultimate collection sold out. Um, so that'll be we're gonna we're gonna do this. We'll do Valiant, I think Valiant right after this, and then we'll do uh, ultimate collection hockey, and then we'll call it a night, folks. I think that'll bring us right to the end of the evening, and then we'll reconvene tomorrow for more. Big boys all seven is like Giants are on a comeback. LOL. I mean, this division with the way this division's been going, I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants just come out of nowhere with your Chris Strattons and Ty Blacks and Reyes Morontas. You know, no Buster Posey, no problem. You know, <laughs> they'll, they'll just they'll just Nick Hundley their way into. I think Nick Hundley's on that team, right? Nick Hundley their way into the World Series. Imagine that. Hunter Cruz is like, screw Valiant, let's do Ultimate first. Oh man, then I'd have to, then I'd have to explain all that to David. No, I'd be like, David, sorry, the Grouch wanted to. Oh, uh, big boys all the times, man. At this point, <laughs> I'd rather have the A's go to the World Series so I can at least go to go to a World Series game out here. Man, there it is, David. No, the. The, the crowd turning on you. How, how quickly things can turn. All right. We've got Goodwin Champions. Zi Shang Du. 42 out of 75 with letter Z. John Goss with letter Z. There you are. I don't know anything about that golfer. <laughs> but that's a hit with the serial numbers. That's, that's, that's always good. I love these, uh, these wood cards here. I think I initially thought in the very first break, I thought this was a, like a glow-in-the-dark sort of thing there, but no, it's... It's a wood mini. Jalen Koff going to J. Peter Graham with that one. And, oh, man, what if robots do this? 
I want robots to do this. That's just... Mark Glassman with S. Set them free. When robots rule the world. There's Nico Landeros, Gotti memorabilia. Um, N going to Joe Ivers with T plus N. Oh, man, the Dodgers. So if the Dodgers are chokers and if the Rockies are chokers, then what does that make the Giants and the Diamondbacks? JMV, you have, to, you, have, you have to approach our friend Joe P. Oh, hi, Jesse Graff. Um, we have to approach Joe P. with some uh, some caution. He is a Diamondbacks fan. <laughs> Watch, it's just the Padres that come out of nowhere. Padres are going to be scary. In a couple in a couple years or so, they're going to be like the Phillies or the, the, the Braves. They're just going to pop out of nowhere, and you're like, where the hell did that come from? And all those young players they have on that team, they, they called up Francisco Mejia from that Brad Hand trade. He's going to be their catcher. You got Manuel Margot. You got guys like Hunter Renfro, Will Myers with a big stick in that lineup. Hosmer is in there. They got Mackenzie Gore. Like they've got great, like at least a few pitching prospects that are come up, coming up the ranks. So like in two years... Padres will always suck, says Joe. See, here's the problem, Joe P. You're kind of right because what happens is every time they have these prospects, they end up trading them away. I think they had Craig Kimbrell at one point, right? I think Kimbrell went to the Red Sox. That's where they got guys like Manuel, Manny Margot and uh, Mackenzie Gore, I think. But I always feel like every time they got a good crop of prospects and then, then they'll trade them away. Or, you know, they'll develop guys. They, they move Brad Hand. That, that could have been future closer right there. I don't know what they're doing, actually. <laughs> what the Padres are doing. But they should do something because they don't have, they don't have football in town. They're the only pro, pro sports franchise in town. So I would just, I mean, maybe the, I would just like start spending money. Be like, hey, come to the ballpark. We're your team now forever. Or maybe they're just complacent at this point. We know you have no other options. No other pro sports options. But yeah, I don't know what they're doing. DeGru saying one team we can guarantee will not surprise anyone of the Orioles. Yeah, the Orioles, they, they've, got a, they've, got, they've got some rebuilding to do. They've got a little bit of rebuilding to do. They're, they are a lot further away from... Further away from even the Marlins, I think. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Serena. There's Tia Blanco, surfer. Hi, Tia. There's Jay Apt, the astronaut. There she is again, professional surfer. It'd be cool to be a professional surfer. All right, and we have another canine companion. I love these guys. Look at that, a Teddy Roosevelt Terrier. Kind of want one of those. Hmm. 
Now to go to the letter T, of course, Joe Ivers with that one. That is still part of Tier 1, the Terrier Tier. One out of about 83, 83 packs. And Jennifer Maddox. Genuine Heroes, police officer in Chicago. Thanks, Jennifer. On the mean streets of Chicago. Peter Graham with letter J. There she is. Police officer Jennifer Maddox started Future Ties, a nonprofit youth development program dedicated to helping kids in the greater Grand Crossing neighborhood of Chicago, the program which Maddox funds and runs herself. Nice. Strives to build community and offer children a safe after school environment. There you go. Nice. All right. Michael Jordan Mini Wood. No, the kids. You need to check your ears, Joe P. Nice. That's a Wood Mini Michael Jordan M for Regimel. I'm sure that, that'll go for a decent amount. And the last bit here is, oh, Miles Bridges autograph. That's cool. M, another M for Regimel. Nice. And the relic, Aaron Pico. Rex saying that someone has those, someone is uh, asking about 150 or 50 for those Jordans. 5'7, 145. That's about my size, right? That's about my size right there. I could fight that guy. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I probably couldn't fight that guy. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was break number five from the website. The next one will be in the store, so check it out. We'll probably break that tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.